Gentlemen and ladies, welcome back to Fallout 3. Leanne Gleason has escaped Walt 101 and found herself in a town with a live nuclear bomb right there. Don't think I'll be touching that quite yet. Let's talk with the locals first. Here's Jenny Stahl. Now, I know I've never seen you in Megaton before. Well, let me guess. Just passing through, right? We get people trying to settle down here all the time. Anyway, if you're hungry, you came to the right place. What can I get you? Yeah, well, okay, sure. What's on the menu? Here, take a look. Hmm. Wow, I've never even heard of some of this stuff. Is there something which isn't glowing green with power of radiation? No? No, okay. I'll have the crap. I don't know what that is, but it sounds exciting. Oh gosh, you want to get paid. Oh, what what could I possibly offer you at this point? Um, here's a cool helmet. Don't, don't ask where I got it. Will that do? Ah, I thought so. Enjoy. Yeah. So, what do you know about your weird town? Some people hate this place, but I guess that's their right. What the hell do they want out of life? Food, shelter, and safety. Works for me. Okay, and uh. So, what's the word around town? I ain't heard much, truth be told. I don't really ever leave the lantern. Too much work. Too few hours in the day, you know? Alright, well, nice meeting you, Jenny. Come back if you need something. Hmm, I'll just. I'll have the. I'll have the cram some other time. It shall be Still getting to know town. Luxury apartments. Sounds luxurious. Um, I hope this isn't it. This is, uh... Hmm. Lucy West's house. Oh dear, that's a bit mocked. Shouldn't be prodding into people. Is this supposed to be a luxury apartment? Um... Well, at least the air conditioning's okay in this place. <laughs> this place is a dump! I shouldn't say that to them. I've, I've, I've been accustomed to vault life all my life. I shouldn't be judgmental. Hello! If you need to buy something, Moira up in Craterside Supply can help you. Watch out, though. She's... different. She a communist? No, she wouldn't be selling stuff if she were. Oh, neat. The bathroom. How useful. Only for women, apparently. Isn't that... That's odd. Can you go in here? Oh, you can, but it's super locked. Secure for a reason. Is that right, Nathan? Ah, look at this! New blood! Tell me, girl. You ever hear of the Enclave? The last remnant of the good old USA they are. Now, I don't know you from Adam, but I got you pegged for a patriot, and any patriot worth her salt is gonna toss her gun in for the Enclave. Any day now, they're gonna roll up here, and then this nightmare'll be over for good. But listen to me, Ramble. I'm Nathan. What can I do for you? Uh... Yeah, thanks for showering me with your political views the second we talk. I'm sure you're a... I'm sure you have lots of friends. Who are these Enclave? But, uh... They're the American government! The Eagle! People, comma, we the! The more perfect union! Cool! And, yeah, I mean, where are these people? How do you... How can you know anything about them? They're on the radio. They have been for years. President Eden talks about everything they're doing. They got flying robots all around, watching everything, so they know what to do when they finally swoop in and clean this place up. You'll see. People think I'm just a crazy old man. Things will be different when the Enclave gets here. Hmm. That, uh, hmm, yeah. Why do you support this? Mysterious shadow government who only 
communicates via the radio and flying robots. Why? Why? Look around you! This is the good old USA! Sure, she looks a little bit different these days, but you're still on American soil. And even if you were born in some underground vault, you were born under the United States, which makes you an American. And it's your duty, and my duty, to support our country and our president, no matter what. Understand? Ooh, here we go. Here we have an exciting... Exciting, uh... Moral choice thingy. Mm, what would Leanne Gleason say at this point? I think Leanne Gleason would be very uncaring about all this. I just want to find my dad. Well, we can't all care. Besides, why should we have to? That's what the government is here for. To take care of that stuff. Right. What's the word? I couldn't tell you, really. I'd talk to Manya if you care that much. She's lived in Megaton longer than anyone. That's good to know, I guess. Well, I have to go now. See ya. Take care. Now he's just open carrying him. But I think everyone's gonna get super freaked if I dig out my baseball bat. No? Okay. Well, I'm not gonna carry my baseball bat anyway. Gosh. Moriarty Salute. Well, that was where we were heading, I guess, so, um... Gotta talk to Moriarty, he might know something about, uh... Stop following me, Nathan. Something about Dad. Oh, I should say, of course, um... If you're wondering, no, these open-world RPGs by Bethesda are huge, enormous games! So, uh, If you're wondering how I'm gonna be playing this game, I'm gonna be doing it a bit differently, um... I'm going to be focusing really much on just the main quest. Why? Because I don't want this series to be 600 episodes long. I'd rather it finish in some sort of rational amount of time. And I think the only way I can achieve that is... Ooh, hello. Really Creel with a cool eye patch. I think the only way I'll achieve that is if... Uh, everyone's staring at me. Am I that different? If I just focus on the main quest primarily. Now, I'm gonna... Maybe I'll... If, if um, the side quests I pick up, if they kind of are along the way, um, then I'll, of course, uh, stop to do those. If I find weird areas along the way, of course I'll stop to check those out too. I mean, I'm not, I'm not that adverse to adventuring to the sides a bit and finding other stuff. But I'd rather focus on the main quest just so, you know... Um, just so you know, we can finish this game, like, in a rational amount of time. Uh, be crazy otherwise. Hey, Colin Moriarty! You're the man I'm looking for! Colin Moriarty. Always pleased to see a new face. But I'm afraid you've had the misfortune to catch me, well, out of me element. I'm the owner and proprietor of Moriarty's, you see. The saloon? But please, see for yourself. Come by for a drink or twelve. You and I, oh, we're going to be fast friends. Fast friends. See, that's actually... Hmm. I mean, Bethesda, of course, has a certain reputation for simplicity with its writing and stuff. I won't argue that, but that's actually really nice that, for example, Moriarty kind of introduces himself differently if you meet him outside than if you meet him inside a saloon. Because he was like, oh, you found me outside of me, Element. Well, I assume if you were in the saloon, he'd be like, oh, welcome to the saloon. Here, have some drinks and let's be friends. Spend all your caps here, why don't you? Hoi, hoi, hoi. Well, anyway, let's get to the point. I need to find my father, and I've heard you're the man who knows stuff in town. My god, it's you. The little baby girl all grown up. Persistent little flower, ain't you? Then and now it would seem. It's been a long time, kid. Oh, your daddy passed through here, all right. Here and gone. Got what he came for and then left. I'm assuming you'll do the same, correct? Yeah, what are you talking about? We're from Vault 101. That I've never been outside before this moment in my life. Is that what your father told you? That you were born in that hole? That he was born there as well? Oh, the lies we tell to those we love. 
Your father brought you to the vault right after you were born. To keep you safe, you see. I remember it well, you stayed in my saloon after all. That's right. Your father, his brotherhood a steel friend, and you, the suckling babe with nary a tit to suckle. Sorry about your mom, truly. Ah, but life goes on. Daddy lied. Life's full of little disappointments. And now you're all grown up and wondering where he's gone to. Yeah, my dad would never have lied to me. Ah, I see. You know, I heard about the brainwashing that goes on down there. From some other fella, escaped. Oh, five years back. All hail the overseer. We're born in the vault, we die in the vault, and all that other assorted lunacy. Kid, you've got better programming than our own deputy weld. You best wise up quick. Wouldn't want anyone taking advantage of you, hmm? Huh. Um... Yeah, I guess, I mean, yeah, I agree with you. I never trusted the Overseer. He, was, he has always seemed creepy my whole life. But uh, my dad, come on, my dad wouldn't lie to me, would, would he? Um, yeah, let's cut to the chase. I don't want to start beating up people in this town right away. So let's just cut to the chase. What, what do you want from me? You catch on quick, kid. That's the way of it out here, for sure. You want something, you take it. Or you pay in cold, hard caps. Say, go on. Seems a fair price to facilitate a family reunion, don't you think? Well, I'm just from the vault and I've got nary an idea of monetary value at the moment, so I don't know how to judge that. Yeah, are you nuts? I don't have that kind of money. Guilty as charged. Tell you what, kid. I'm gonna help you out, for old time's sake. If you don't have the caps to pay for the information, then maybe you could do a little favor for me. So you want, yeah, you want me to do your dirty work? Is that it, you weird? Who said anything about dirty work? You need some caps and I'm giving you a way to get them, it's just business. This junky bitch named Silver borrowed quite a few caps from me. Claimed she could start funneling Jet and Psycho to me for a good price. Problem is, she scrammed with the loot and set herself up in Springvale so she can inject herself into a stupor. Get the caps she owes me and they're yours. Yours to pay me with, anyway. <laughs> Alright, so we got... now we have options. I mean, we can straight up pay him off, or we can go find the silver person and... be a morally ambiguous rough guy. Um, you have to remember, guy, it's the post-apocalypse. Only morally ambiguous people survive here. Can't you tell me where my father is? Come on. You got memory problems, kid? You ain't getting something for nothing. So pony up the 300 caps and then we'll talk. Yeah, what the hell? I, we talked a second ago. I did say it was 100 caps. And, as I recall, you said no. So now, I'm saying it's 300 caps. What'll you say this time? Yeah, come on, come on, come on. Let's, let's, let's take this slow. I'm reasonable, but I'm not crazy. How can you bargain with me and not have the caps? Fine, we'll see about... Let's Look, let's see if I can wrangle up the 100 caps from that bomb. You know, we had that quest, and then maybe we can get that. I don't know if I want to go beat up Silver. So, anything else you can tell me, Mr. Moriarty? Galaxy News Radio is some loudmouth radio station located in the ruins of DC. Three Dog, the king of that loony bin, keeps yapping about fighting some good fight or something. A bunch of crap. But I suppose if you wanted to know what was going on in the wasteland, that's the place to go. Me, I could care less. Yeah, all right. I can't even get the reception radio, so I don't know if I'm worth going there. Yeah, I need to know about the world I'm in still. The wasteland? Why the hell would you want to go out there? Listen to me, lass. Megaton has everything you could possibly need. Why go anywhere else? Like a thermonuclear weapon, for example. Stay the fuck out of me business, don't go where you don't belong, and buy your drinks here. That's all you need to know. Okay, yeah, I've learned to stay the fuck out of your business a second ago with your old cap shenanigans. Um, yeah, what do you do around here? I keep these yokels knee-deep in booze and poon. They keep me knee-deep in caps. It's a fair trade, if you ask me. Sure, I guess so. 
Well, what's the word around town? I own a saloon, kid. Rumors are part and parcel. So, I'll give you this one for free. Not sure if you've met her, but Lucy West, that pretty young thing? She's afraid. Of what? Of who? I couldn't say. But you can feel the fear on her. Oh, you are a creepy man. I think I'm done here. I await our next meeting with bated breath. Oh, kiddo. Let's visit the saloon. We're at it. Interesting uh, personalities we have here. Oh, piece of junk. Every day it's the same damn thing. I told you, Gob, it ain't the radio. The Enclave station comes in fine. It's Galaxy News. Their signal's been shit lately. Stupid radio. Work. Oh. Come on, work. You're... Right. Oh, you work. You look. Son of a bitch. You look like you've gotten a lot of sun, dude. That... Damn it. Are you okay? Hey, smooth skin. You need something? A drink, maybe? Anything? Anything at all? Yeah. Yeah. Fuck. What are you? Haven't you ever seen a ghoul before? Oh, yeah, sorry. Maybe I was a bit rude by saying that. Well, now, that's a surprise. I'm used to every asshole smooth skin in this town giving me shit just because I look like a corpse. I'm glad to see that there are a few worthwhile people around here. Listen, Moriarty'd have my head if he caught me selling at a discount. But for you, I'll risk it. Oh, okay. I'm surprised I got karma even though I kind of said the most rude thing I could possibly say at first. Hey, do you know my dad, maybe? Mr. Ghoul? Oh yeah, I do remember a guy like that. Honestly, I usually keep my head down. I tend to get smacked around if I look customers in the eyes. But talk to Moriarty, he'll know more. Yeah, I, I already talked to him and he's charging me. That's his way. Always putting caps before people's lives. I wish someone would stand up to him one day. Oh my, I should be saying all of this. I'm sorry, I, I really must get back to work. I can't get involved. I'm so sorry. So where's you from, dude? A place called Underworld. It's a ghoul city down in D.C. I set off up here to find adventure and fortune. And, well, I found this place. I'm sort of stuck here. Colin says that I can't leave until I pay off my debt to him. Of course, he charges me room and board, too. If you ever get to Underworld, tell Carol that I said hi. So, Kiroki, Carol, I'll keep that in mind. Um, yeah, tell me about this radio, too. Mr. Moriarty says we can keep it on. It's a good radio station. I like hearing the DJ, Three Dog, and how he's helping to fight the good fight. If only I was a part of that. Instead of being stuck in this dive. Aw, oh, poor guy. Alright, well, no time for drinking yet. I'm on a job. Come back soon. Alright, oh. This is gonna be difficult because... <laughs> That's locked. And yes, I can see you eyeing it. This is gonna be a bit difficult playing this game because every every male ghoul sounds that way. And now having, uh... Having played, uh... No, having, having watched Gravity Falls... And now... Realizing that all the ghouls sound like they're doing an impression of uh, Grunkle Stan, it's going to be very hard to take the ghouls seriously in this game. Hurry, hurry, hurry. Come down to the underworld, kids. A wondrous world of pleasure and amazement. Well, um, who else could we get uh, help from? This reputable looking man's waving us over. My, my. Just when I'd all but given up hope. My. Dear girl, I am very happy to make your acquaintance. I am Mr. Burke. And you? Well, you are not a resident of this putrescent cesspool. That makes you a rather valuable individual. Uh, y yeah, you... I don't like your slipperiness, Mr. <laughs> Mr. G, man. Let's, let's see. As you wish. I'm looking to employ an 
individual with no ties to Megaton, no interest in its future. Megaton is obsolete, the last vestige of a cobbled, desperate past. It needs to go away, and you are going to see that it does. Yeah, are you implying we're going to destroy the town? No, no. I'm merely a recruiter. You get to have the real fun. The undetonated atomic bomb for which this town is named is still very much alive. All it needs is a little motivation. I have in my possession a fusion pulse charge. Once rigged to the bomb, it will be detonated by you. At a secure location. Easy money, my friend. Yeah, that's crazy. I, I'm not gonna blow up all these people. Now that is a disappointment. Well, if you change your mind, the offer still stands. Good day. Eh? 